the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and today's video is going to be two steps forward and one step back. As you can see, my Lamborghini Countach is back in the garage after some fixes at the Car Wizard, the biggest one being a coolant leak. In addition, we'll be picking up the Ferrari 458 from the Car Wizards, my salvage one with 86,000 miles that just had a bunch of work done to it, so I'm not looking forward to that bill. It will be expensive, but with those two coming back, one needs to go, and well, it happens to be a coolant leak. It's like the universe of the Hoopty Fleet balancing itself out because this one is fixed. And now my 2001 Bentley Azur, formerly owned by Jean-Claude Van Damme, has sprung a coolant leak. So I'll drive it to the Car Wizards to pick up the Ferrari 458. And I have some exciting stuff planned with the Ferrari in today's video, as well as trying to clean up some of the, well, ugliness to it. Make it look less hoopty, but then still hoopty. Anyway, let's go. Well, the trail of goo is dried up a little bit, but you can kind of see it. And I'm also getting a low cooling warning on this car, unfortunately, but man, I can't be too mad at the Azure. Yeah, I can't be mad for the 25 grand that I paid for this thing, which wouldn't make a very good down payment on a new Bentley. Uh, it wouldn't even offer even close to the same driving experience as this thing. Unfortunately though, with depreciation and age comes a lot more maintenance on these complicated mineral oil system Bentleys. And uh, well, actually it's not the mineral oil system that's leaking on this car, it's the coolant. So that's why it's heading to the car wizards now. But hey, just look at this thing from the town and country horns. Can't beat that. Wizard. Oh, I'm glad to see you. Yes, you've assumed your favorite position there. Yes. The, bill collecting position. You were very kind yesterday to let me leave with the Countach. Mm -hmm. You hadn't made a bill yet, so I got to leave. Yeah, I wanted it out of the shop because it's worth so much money now that I don't want it maxing out my insurance. It, it, it's a little scary to drive in that sense nowadays considering how much they've popped up, but uh, the bill wasn't that bad, right? Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was a small bill, so I didn't worry about it. Oh, it's, it's $1,561. That's a small bill, huh? That's a small one. <laughs> Okay, well, there were a few pretty good repairs there. The slave cylinder that was leaking and then a hose as well, along with the uh, a water pump O-ring. So and then there was that oxygen sensor that I drove for a year basically with it dangling out because the uh, mm -hmm. the threads were stripped. So that's very hoopty of me. 1500 bucks. I know the Ferrari one's way worse, right? It is way worse. It's three pages long. <sighs> So we fixed the coolant leak on the Countach, it drove home beautifully, and now the coolant's leaking on the Bentley Azure. Last time I drove it, the low coolant light came on, and uh, it's it's on the floor, oh, so right. yeah, just trade one for the other, it, it really never ends, so I'm procrastinating a little bit because the Ferrari ones... Oh uh, yeah, it's three pages long. Okay, alright, oil change, engine mounts, battery, window switch, cabin air filter, Valve tronic exhaust system, bulbs, screws, serpentine belt, adjust the suspension, belly pans, removing and installing the exhaust, and then a small cut sustained from heat shields for a dollar thirty-seven. Yeah, I actually cut my wrist on one of the heat shields, so I made sure to get that on the bill. All right, so that's that's nine thousand eleven dollars. It should be nine thousand ten dollars, but. $11.71, so a grand total of over $10,000 today. Here's the grand total. That's why you're in such a good mood. Yes. But with the fuel prices and it's almost in yachting season, that's like a tank nowadays. Yeah, I might fill up twice on that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I'll pay and then you'll release the Ferrari? I'll release the Kraken. There you go. Oh, very, very good. Let's take a look at this thing. I can already tell the ride height is much, much better before it was slammed all the way to the ground. Mm -hmm. So that looks fantastic. And then we saw the exhaust earlier. That's just, it's a little obscene, but it is pretty cool, the Valtronic exhaust. Oh yeah. It sounds amazing. Yeah, when you hit a button, it certainly wakes up. And Valtronic, you're able to do this for any car. So you can go online and if you have a uh, well, just about anything, they'll make a Valtronic exhaust for it to where you can hit a button and then it opens it up and makes wonderful noises. So I'm very excited to hear that and actually have the perfect way to do it. But uh, inside, all the broken buttons are gone. Yeah, the window switch isn't exploding in my hands. That's nice. Yeah. And we have underbody panels, which is yes. good. I don't have to worry about parts just flying off of this car. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, thank you, wizard. No problem. Thank you for the nice paying of the bill. <laughs> I gotta put gas in my yacht. All right, well, fire it up. I gotta hit that Valtronic button here. Oh, I heard the valve open. Yes. That'll do. Well, first off, the ride height makes an enormous difference in this thing and the way it rides and feels. And also, the mounts, the motor mounts feel so good. I didn't realize how bad it was before. And the wizard actually sent me a picture of the mount. It was completely shredded and torn apart. Now it feels so much smoother. Oh yeah, <laughs> listen to that noise. Yeah, this Valtronic exhaust is doing the job as we go into the tunnel. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do really nicely. I'm so happy with the way this car came out. I mean, I don't have to worry about it now. It has all the miles on it so I can drive it as much as I want. With the body panels on underneath, I don't have to worry about parts falling off. Now the buttons are not all sticky and breaking and all that. The stereo's working as intended. So it's sorted. And now we can find out how healthy this Ferrari actually is because our friends over at BG have a dyno. They invited me down to bring a few cars. And of course, I had to see how this Ferrari is doing after 87,000 miles. So let's head down there. So in order to get it up on the dyno, we had to take the underbody panel off that was just put on, and it's uh, showing that it's leaking a little goo. So typical hoopty life, it's always leaking. MBG here, I mean, it looks like a hospital or cleaner than a hospital, these facilities, and they got it all hooked up now. Now from the factory, these put about 450 horsepower, a little over 315 pound-feet of torque, but now we have 88,000 miles on this thing. It's been wrecked, it's been abused, so I'm very curious what it'll do. So far, so good. that I'm making excuses already, but uh, they're saying that dyno runs really low and they're doing it in third instead of fourth, so that probably explains the number because there's, there's no way it's like 130 horsepower off of what it's supposed to be. So anyway, sounds fantastic though. Well, I'm gonna respectfully disagree with those dyno numbers for a couple of reasons. Number one, they ran it in third when they should have in fourth and they're saying their dyno reads low, so well, there you go. But BG, a fantastic company based out of Kansas. They make oils and additives to bring life back into your injectors, into your engines. Uh, really, really needed today and with cars, modern technology, emissions, and crazy stuff. So they're doing quite well for themselves. And they have that dyno and lots of other equipment for science because they're testing everything out. It's not some snake oil type of business where they sell things based on like a pyramid scheme. I mean, it's, it's the real stuff. So check them out if you have time. It's not a sponsored video by them, just a thank you. But now we're gonna try and make this Ferrari look a lot prettier than it actually is. On video it looks just fine, but then you get up close and it has a lot of little defects and things, and I have an idea to make it look a lot better and pretty cool. Stuart, I'm back. I see it. Man, I can hear it when it pulled up. Well, hopefully you can make it look better because it's hard to show on film, but this thing has a lot of weirdness to it in the paint, being salvaged title. There's like a overcooked buff job here kind of easier to see in the shade than oh. in the sun. Ah, I just got my, my shit. Oh, I'm, yeah, no, be I careful. Gotta... I, mean, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that again. Um, oh, I see it, though. So a little yeah. deeper. There's another spot uh, in one of the fenders and then up front. Okay. I mean, I think the way to do it, and I've seen you do this on some cars before, where you do the full PPF, right. but then you can do it in matte, and it'll be a matte oh. finish, but then it's trans Lucent? What do you call it? Translucent, right? Yes. Oh, this would just be killer. Yeah. This would look so good. Yeah. Um, so hopefully it can hide a lot of the sins or cover them up quite a bit. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to touch all these up first, but that's no problem. We'll get all these touched up. We'll we'll kind of go over the paint real quick. Um 
you know, before we put it on, we have to prep it anyway. But, um, oh, it's Tyler, that's going to be so cool. I it will think, be. I think yeah. so. It'll be different. I mean, I already yeah. have gold wheels and blingy tailpipe, yeah. and yeah. the interior is so red. and Really cool. Could use a clean as well, so. Yeah. Just... Ooh, I like this. Song. Go nuts. I mean, not don't go Roadmaster nuts. I mean, no, that no, was a no. little, but yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, have fun, I should say. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get it. It'll look amazing. And then you'll have, and then you'll have two of my cars at once. That's right. Oh, you want to see the other one? It's kind of like in transition, so, but it makes it look like a hoopty. It's kind of cool. Oh, by all, yes, please, oh, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, some folks mentioned this in the last video that people don't run out on bills with you for obvious reasons so oh, yeah there's nothing to see here uh -huh. so. <laughs> anyway <No. laughs> wizard doesn't have a rifle at his desk oh, at least hey here's the ppf so this is the translucent so, mat yeah it's okay. a it's a mat um of course it's on the carrier let me get it off this carrier so the cool thing about this tyler is it's it's a paint protection film so it's very strong so you won't get rock chips okay um like you can see this i mean I, I can't even get that through there wow and see the grin on my face i mean this is real oh really you're tough. you're really flexible yeah. yeah all right now i can do it of course if i put a razor of course i can but you know like a screwdriver or a rock chip i mean that's isn't that crazy wow so it's very very strong this is self-healing so when it's um that's that's cool yeah like say you put it on a glossy finish you know mm -hmm. now you won't have all this all right stuff right you know? right but um it'll look it'll just it's gonna look it's gonna look amazing I, okay the red will look crazy well so. speak yeah something yeah. that doesn't look amazing what <laughs> it's lost its eyes yeah the 928's trademark is the fact that its eyeballs kind of pop out of its head yeah. and and well now they've they're gone so yeah, this so. is just for a bumper respray yeah you know to get the bumper off properly you have to you have to get to everything so we had to move the the bug eyes okay but yeah just uh that and a little touch up in the interior yeah so we got the interior done um so once we get the bumper uh finished and put back on then we'll we'll do the outside and it'll be ready to roll nice okay so, well the ferrari's gonna have yeah. quite a transformation it's already incredible to have it back and have such an amazing transformation in the driving experience but now it's going to will look very different and a lot better so thank you Stuart. as Absolutely. usual van yeah. gogh they're the best well i'm back at the garage now ferrari listen uh, Stuart gave me a little funny quip after the video off camera he reminded me how much wraps cost and this particular ppf doing it on the entire car is quite expensive it'll be more than the roadmaster so uh, you know he's not going crazy i mean that's just the going right for it i didn't realize and well I'd already shut the video and sort of said yes to it. So anyway, that leads me to this decision. I need to get rid of one of the Ferraris. I currently have four, which is absolutely insane. Three of them are mid-engine V8 cars that all do sort of the same thing. So it's not gonna be the four, five, six with the V12 and the gated manual. That'd be impossible to replace for any kind of money close to what I could get for it. And it's my only family Ferrari. So that leaves the 348, the 355 and the four. The 458 makes sense because it's higher mileage, it's worth the most, and keeping it long term, though it makes no sense, it's a salvage title Ferrari. It's not going to go up in value with the mileage and the history on the thing. But it is really cool, really fun to drive, and if I did sell it for, say, what it's worth, which is basically what I paid for it, replacing it would be really hard and it would cost, well, sixty or $80,000 more for the next cheapest one for sale. So that's kind of a tough decision there. The 355 makes the most sense as an investment. It's lower mileage, like 30,000 miles, a yellow convertible. Those things are going up and up and up and up, but it is the most needy of the three cars, probably when it comes to mechanics. The 355 is not very reliable. Uh, they had a tendency to burn to the ground as I saw in a previous Ferrari. And there is the steering issue. The 355 steering is so over-assisted and vague, which is why I like the 348 so much better. It has normal unassisted steering, but the power, I'm getting used to the 355 and the beautiful, beautiful engine under there that sings like to 2,500 RPM past where the 348 goes. The gated manual in the 348 feels like a dinosaur in comparison to the 355 and the fact the 348 has 100,000 miles on it. Another car that's not a very smart investment to keep long term. It's been repainted badly. It has house carpet inside of it, bus seats. That's not going to be a really big collectible down the road that's going to see rapid appreciation like a nice car would, like the 355. So I'm in a bit of a pickle here. I am going to sell one. I am going to sell one soon. I need the money to 
pay for all these other cars, but I'm not sure which one. You all can certainly help me make my decision by leaving a comment in the comment section, but before you go down, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Subscribe to Hoovy's Garage and all this madness. Buy Hoovy's Garage merch, which is also linked below. A few of you have been buying stickers and putting them on your hoopties. I'll put a few up right now, like this one. That's really cool. And this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching.